That was a weak spin, but is it a strong landing? New selfie face! Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna see if we can use sandpaper as a technique, a new way to peel uh, fruits and whatever this heinous thing is. But first, new selfie face just saw a mini horse wearing a charming mini hat. That's the face I would make. Many horses. Still, still, still um, the key to my heart. Well, your, your, nice your, miniature your horse. family of pets is growing at such a rate, you would think that maybe a miniature horse was on the docket. Oh yes, because they could pull a wagon full of all my other pets. Right. All right, so we got lots of sandpaper here. And then, you know, you can peel a kiwi with uh, a knife. Well, here's, here's, here's my stance on kiwis. Eat the peel, watch. It's, and everybody thinks this is crazy. It tastes incredible. What? It's way better for you, more fiber, and it's tangier, and it's not hard to chew. It's like, it disintegrates completely. Huh, did you read about this? I tried, my son told me to try it. It's hairy, first of all. Just, it, just you gotta get over that. I mean, just take a bite and just chew it and see what, see what happens. I mean, it's like, it's, you know, it's a hair, it's hairy. Take a bite and chew it, and it just, it's, there's nothing to it. As soon as you start two chews in, you just get the extra tang from the skin, and the only part you don't eat is the, is the very top. The skin is tang? Mm-hmm. Huh. And just, you get way skin more. Skin is made of tang. And you get way more fiber. Wow. It actually makes a kiwi worth eating. Wow. Thanks to lot, we just made kiwis worth eating. Kiwis are worth eating again, y'all. Forget this alternative. So, ah. so step one, don't peel your kiwi. Just eat it like we But it's so it. pretty to, to, to. You end up losing so much of the kiwi when you do that. It just doesn't make, there's just no good reason for it. It's just something we do. We all accept it as being okay, and it's what, wrong. What's in the middle of a kiwi? Is there a core? No. Again, the only thing that you don't eat is the very tip toppy stem. Well, that, that white stuff is the core. Eat it. I am eating it. It's good. It's fine. What's the best part? It is a bit tangy. I'm gonna leave that for later. Well, now we need to move on to, what is this? Well, let's do it in the orange. You think you can eat the, the peel of an orange? Uh, no. What would happen if you just took a bite out of an orange like an apple, though? Um, I mean, you'd have to spit out the rind, I think. It's not poison. I, I think it is. No, I think you can eat it, but it will taste terrible. Should I push on your head? Do you need help? <laughs> Gosh, the orange oil is so strong. Okay, so that's not a good idea for that but, one. But I think you'll get more orange oil if you do it this way. Okay, so I, I'm anxious to hear about your, your, oh, your, yeah. your dream. That yeah, I, oh, look at that, that's nice. We got a little zesty zesty. Cause I, I, I've got an interest, when you started talking about the fact that you had a dream. Well, yeah, I, I said I wanted, I wanted to tell him the dream in Good Mythical Morse, and here we are. Um, very vivid dream. I went to a sandwich shop, yeah. which I'm, which shall remain nameless, and I saw Jimmy John's? one of our ex-girlfriends from high school, and I'm her. She shall remain nameless too. One of our. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I, I mean, she was there. She was working there. Yeah, I can see that. Now, as a, as a grown woman, yeah. if she was out of place there. And, and, and we haven't seen her in, in so many years. And I was like, wow. She the manager? You, uh. She was the manager. No, she was just like a, just a normal employee. Well, you know what? Full uniform. And it's what, you know when you see somebody, like even I heard Lincoln and his friends talking about how they have a friend who worked at Jersey Mike's and I was listening on their whole conversation because I was driving them around. They were in the back seat talking. And they're like, yeah, so-and-so works at Jersey Mike's. And he was like, uh, is he like, just like making sandwiches? Like, no, he's like the manager, like second to the manager. He's like, oh, he's in charge of a Jersey Mike's? It's like, wow, it's like they couldn't, you know, and you go in there and you got, you're wearing a uniform and it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Well, this ex-girlfriend was, was wearing a uniform and it was, I went up to her and I was just like, wow, it's, it's so good great, to great to see you. And she was like, 
kind of embarrassed because it was like, haven't seen you in all this time, and here I am in a uniform making sandwiches. Yeah. Um, and then she she gets off work, and what happened next? I was just, the whole time I was just thinking, I can't wait to tell you about this because I felt like we needed to do something about it. I felt like she might need help. Like I know she has in, in real life. she has kids and. I don't think she's working at a sandwich shop. There's nothing wrong with working at a sandwich shop, but something about this particular sandwich shop, it was just like, I think she might need some help. So I invited her home. And um, so then... What, so, what, you invited her home? Home. But the home was a different place, and I don't even know if I was married. And I don't... Oh, okay. I, I'm not, I'm not saying I, I wasn't interested. I don't think I was married in this dream. <laughs> I wasn't interested in her. I felt for her. Like, I, I wanted... You felt for her? I felt for her. In the dark? There was no dark. Oh, but she was at the house. <clears throat> and I was just like... I saw her in Walmart one time over Christmas. And I was just trying to like see if there was some way we could help her. And the entire dream was just like me trying to navigate like... Um, I mean, are you making ends meet? How are the kids doing? I don't know. It was just like I was very concerned about Did you this. end up helping her? Uh, something else happened. I'm trying to remember... See, I told you I was going to tell you about the dream. This and doesn't then work. In between telling you I was stupid. going to tell you about the dream, and now I've forgotten. It looks like it's working on the avocado. The dream. No, it's not getting it. It's not getting to the to the fruity. It's, oh. not, it's definitely. I mean, I mean, I guess it would, but it gets caked stuff on it. It would work on a sander. I mean, like a real sander. So that was the end of it. So nothing happened. I, nothing happened. I mean, if you're looking for something like naughty to happen, nothing happened. But. Is that what you're looking for? No, no, I don't want anything naughty to happen. Something oh, naughty to happen? I got avocado. Oh, is that going to stain? I really like what this is doing to the um, to the orange, though, because it's making it... Well... I, oh, you know what? I brought her to my Nana's house. There you go. There That's you go. what it was. I was. We were at my Nana's house. Yeah, take her to Nana's. Because that was, you know, that was back home. I guess all of a sudden it was just like I was getting real... Do you need to go to Nana's? Is everything okay? <laughs> I'll take you to my Nana's. She'll know what to do. Oh, it works with a potato for sure. Well, okay, I'm going to tell you about my feel, dream in a second. Feel, feel, feel of this. It's so feel smooth. Feel how smooth that is. That's but you like, can't eat it. If you take a bite out of it, it's going to still be orange peel. Oh, yeah. You're it's, not through. It's still orange. I'm nowhere near through. All right. We want to just take a second to, to let you know uh, if you're enjoying our podcast that we're starting in Ronstadt, you know, it actually is a co-production with Q Code and Wood Elf and Mythical. And Wood Elf is also producing uh, Markiplier's Distractable, Jack's Films, Aaron is the Funny One. So if you're a fan of Ronstadt, check out those. Check out Wood Elf Media on Instagram uh, to keep up with well, apparently for, some memes, yeah, for but a, also some podcast news. For, for a podcast uh, production company, I mean, they got a pretty good Instagram. Check it out. And, um, and check out the podcast. So, when you said you had a dream, it reminded me that I did remember my dream and the thing. You know how when <sighs> I'm gonna go to another. Do you, thing. you know how when you uh, you you've had a dream about somebody that is close to you, like say your wife, and uh, they do something in the dream that makes you mad, and then when you wake up, you're mad at them. That happened to me last night, <laughs> and we went to some kind of event. Like maybe it was somebody's wedding or whatever. They were having this event at this really amazing house. It was this like giant facility, like, oh, we're having the event at the Biltmore Estate or something like that, right? Oh, wow. And everybody got to stay there. And it was this cool place with all these like intricate rooms and and I'm like so excited about being at this place. I wasn't excited about the wedding. I don't know who was getting married. But Jesse was spending all her time talking to everyone else and like not telling me like where we were supposed to. She knew the stuff, right? She knew where we were supposed to go. And I'm like. You didn't know anything? You felt disoriented? At one point, all I had was I had come out of the shower, which I don't remember taking a shower, but it was one of those like I just came out of the shower and I've got a towel around me. And I'm like, okay, where's our room in this place? And she's still talking to all these other people. And like then, you were out in public? In a towel? Like, I'm going around the house, and I'm like, I'm just looking for my room. I just got out of the shower. I'm just trying to get ready for the wedding. And then a guy's like, oh, um, yeah, you're not staying here. You and your family are staying in one of the apartments. 
And so then I start walking like across a field in my towel, towel and I get to like, they were, you remember uh, over there in what we used to call Campbelltown? Yeah. Which is like, was the student apartments at Campbell University? I don't know if they're still there. And there were, there were some homes that were like apartment home type thing. Yeah, it was like Campbelltown, like just some con brick condominiums. This is not working, There's, this is way too hard. And I was like, you mean I gotta, we have to stay in these, like when we could stay at this house and my wife won't talk to me and she's spending all this time. And then I woke up and it was one of those things where like, I woke up in the heat of my passion of being oh, so moment. inconvenienced and being in this towel and then realizing I had to stay in a town home. And I looked at my wife and I was like, this was bad. Was, was she sleeping? I was, she was sleeping. I was like, you know, you sitting there sleeping. You, you know what you just did to me in my dream? <laughs> Walking around with a towel like an idiot. You made, she made you look stupid. And then I realized how stupid it was to be mad at her because she didn't do anything. It was all in my head. But she couldn't get over it. But it's hard to not be mad at the person right after you wake up. Yeah, because it, you did experience it and it was their fault. It was so disorienting. And that house was so cool. It had so many little nooks and crannies. I love old houses with nooks and crannies. I love getting lost in little, getting turned around, you yeah. know? I'm gonna tell you something, Rhett. Does it work with a with This a is the one thing that works. I had something horrible happen in my dream earlier this week. I'm um, sorry to hear that. Did what you get it? lost? No, you know, okay, so on TikTok, you know how people use the same sounds for different scenarios, the same songs? You know what I'm uh -huh. saying, like yep. if something, so yeah, you know cool the dad. song, if something like, bad is about to take place and it's like oh no oh no yeah 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 oh no 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 my dream was like scored in tiktok sounds that is not a sign of hell like it was like this is a nightmare and then in the background of my dream oh, it was like oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 <laughs> dang what, what did something bad happen, or it was just the I anticipation? I can't remember the bad thing. I just remember the song and being like, well, this is new. The anticipation of it. This is amazing. The yeah, only one the, that it works with is the tomato. This is working, and it goes through the, the, the stuff really fast, so you gotta... And look at that. That's a perfect, I'm just gonna get a perfect tomato bite, just... A skin, we're skinning a tomato. Oh, that's good. I mean, this is something that they would do in a restaurant. Yeah. Table side tomato sanding. <laughs> <laughs> what are you here for? I'm it, gonna sand your tomatoes. Yeah, it really does have a. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be very cool and expensive. It does have a flesh quality to it, like like a literal. Wow. Wouldn't you like just to do that, that is... to somebody's skin? Just sand it right off. Oh man, you're morbid, dude. I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna <laughs> sand my. My skin off. Uh, man, I, I wonder how my dream would have been if that song. I, I came out of the. Can you? I came out of the shower and I'm like, Can you oh tell no. on screen that this is oh happening? No. Oh no! 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 Your wife is making you stay in a town home. <laughs> out with the old and in with the new. But before we do, check out our last chance section at mythical.com and get your faves before they're gone forever.